you just got engaged so guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing tips on how to plan your wedding. A lot of us have been asking me in the DM to make this video and I decided to make this video. So sit back, relax and enjoy. The first on my list is having a clear vision. You and your spouse to be, your husband to be, your wife to be, have to come together to have a clear vision of what you want for your wedding. The decorations, the type of music you want, um, the, the type of food you want, colors of the day, the fabric, you have to have a clear vision of what you want. Even if you're going to employ the service of an event planner, you have to understand what you want, what type of wedding you want, what and what you want in your wedding. On your wedding day so number two which is very important is budget the two of you have to come together and talk about budget how much you are willing to spend for the wedding how much what and what you think is necessary to put in the wedding to do during the wedding day and all of that because budget money cause issues for some people during their wedding preparation the woman might be saying oh I want this one and the man is saying I cannot afford it Anything you know that your husband to be says he cannot afford and you want as a woman, if you can afford it, please just do it to cut wahala and drama because budget can be stressful. Remember when you're planning your budget that there is life after a wedding because people are just literally coming together to come and eat and celebrate you and go home. So it is now left to you to understand how much you're willing to put. Remember, if you put 1 million, you can still do your wedding. If you put 500k, you can still do wedding. It just depends on how much you're willing to invest, how much you have that you want to put into your wedding celebration. So number three is book your vendors on time. There are some vendors that you need to book ahead of time. Like for her, if you're doing an indoor wedding, hall decoration, if you're doing outdoor, the, the all you want to use, your photographer and all of that, you have to book them on time. And number five is you have to compare prices when you're booking your vendors. You are going for the most like you're going for an affordable vendor and quality too. So you have to check and compare price to know, oh, which one is better, which one quality and all of that is better. You are going for the best price. Okay, number six. I'm going to stop with the number three because I think I'm confusing myself with the number three. Number six, you have to have checklists and deadlines. So you have to have checklists and deadlines to keep you in tune with what you are doing. It helps the process easy for you you have to know oh by this time to this time i should have um, um gotten um ketra sorted out photography sorted out and all of that checklist and deadline help you number seven you have to share responsibility your husband is doing this and you as a wife you're doing this it makes the work easier because wedding planning a wedding can be very stressful so it makes the work easy when two of you have different responsibility and you have a deadline that you come together to meet each other to check oh, what and what you've done and what and what you've not done. It is also important that you make a list of what you want to do because it helps you. So whenever you get anything done or you get a vendor booked, you just tick it out. That, oh, that one has been achieved. That one has been done. So guys, let's go on a quick commercial break because I know this video is already long. You're already tired. We'll be right back. My country people, you did find a bonge vendor with the sell quality beddings for just chicken money. Now, witty glam beddings, they run now. Just run, go witty glam bedding page on Instagram. Go order your own beddings. Your body good day, shiny, yeah, free, yeah. So guys, you have to also remember that when you're planning your wedding, it is important to take care of yourself because planning wedding, wedding preparation is not a joke. So don't neglect yourself. You don't want to be looking stressed and tired on your wedding day. So make sure you take care of yourself. Eat well, relax. And if there are people that you can give the responsibility of handling some certain things, please share responsibility. It will make the work easier and it will make it faster for you. And also, the last thing on my list is enjoy the process. Just enjoy your wedding process. It is a day, it's a special day for you where you get to be celebrated, where people come to rejoice with you. So you don't want to look tense on your wedding day. You don't want to look scattered, tired, and all of that. Because I've been to some wedding that the bride was sad all through. And when you get to find out what's making her sad is stress and all of that and tension this window will not show up that's why it's important to have a backup plan remember guys weddings are beautiful 
it is your special day so you have to enjoy you have to do you have to wrap up just make sure you are enjoying the process i will see you in my next video and remember if you've not subscribed to this youtube channel what's the color of your problem it is time you subscribe now and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you like this video tell me in the comment below and i'll make more content about wedding planning so see you in my next video it just it just Hey, we're going to get you, 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 get you